from the YouTube Dome. So this is week note, they were really newer, and now a man who is really upset about the whole Di Disney taking over Fox thing, Ellie Cunny Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week note update. I am Ellie Cunny Mueller. Why is that my guy's house? Alright, tonight's Cow Fight winners are Ace with this fan edit. You know, he's really good with his fan edits. You know, Emmanuel Gabby with his singing uh, voice. Michael Zycast with his uh, I Michael show. Baby L. Craig with his Tribute Smith Rogers neighborhood. Gus Hanger from Between the Lions and all those other kinds of uh, shows. And F519 with his Vigilante dances and other random things. You know what, folks? Tonight. I cannot believe that we're doing this, but tonight we are talking about the biggest story people have been talking about for the past two months, and I can't believe it is happening already, but here we go, Disney now owns Fox. That's right, now, now, now forgive me if I'm a little upset, but apparently Disney now owns Fox. You know what this means? It means that the Simpsons, uh... Show only has one more season to be on TV. One more season. You know, Adam will be interested in this. You know, well, of course I'm sick, but you know, Disney now owns Fox. Adam, did you hear about this? Disney is owning Fox. You know, and guess how much money it bought for? Seventy-one point three billion dollars. I do not. I am not in the spectrum of. Caring, sir. Okay, but you know what could have used for uh, 71.3 billion dollars? We could have used that to add more thunder. Billion bananas. Well, that, and we could, we could have gotten ourselves a house bear with that kind of money. A band, man. But Adam, listen to this, right? Fox had to let right this phrase go. Now, Fox's distribution company is based in London. London, folks. Isn't that some films that took place in London? What does that tell us? Disney does not need Mary Poppins to work on Fox. No. It, here's what's even dumber about this. Alright? You know, if, if Disney now owns Fox, right? That means that someone's going to uh, come over here, right, and try to make this show... Uh, Ayer to Camille Cabello's uh, every whim. I mean, seriously, we're not the guy to do that. I'm looking for a Now that that's over, time for the top eight list. There we go. MP, you're on your own, buddy. Ah. All right, here we go. Top eight things to expect from Fox now that it is being owned by Disney. Number eight, Ryan Seacrest. Number seven, Disney related tunes. Number six, a Mickey Mouse infomercial. Number five, a Donald Duck test pattern. Number four, the f final episode of The Simpsons. Number three, the final episode of Family Guy. Number two, George of the Jungle. And the number one thing to expect from Fox now that it's being owned by Disney, The Wedding of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. There you go. Oh, that was a mouthful, MP. Thank you very much. We got these commercials and tonight's Friday night. We shall return in a moment or so with... Tonight's random report. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry?
you've ever been stranded high and dry, waiting weeks, maybe months, for your carpeting to be delivered? Well, that'll never happen with Empire. We deliver in three to four days. We can do it in three to four days because we stock most of it ourselves. We promise brand-name carpeting. We promise a free Bissell rug shampoo with two rooms. With credit terms, we promise no installment payment for 60 days. Plus, the best promise of all, prices that are <laughs> down to earth. 500 Call us. McDonald in. Bowling for burgers. We still have a chance, Bertie. Go for it. Stand back, boy. It looks like a strike. <laughs> You're out. That's okay. I'll throw a spare. I think you got it, oh, Grimace. Think again. You're our last hope, Ronald. Watch this. Boo! Oh! Good game, you guys. We, we always, always fall, fall for that one. <laughs> Presenting the... Now, only Fox. Now, get a pencil handy, get some paper too, because I want you to write this down, right? Because Disney now owns Fox, who knows what kind of uh, network uh, Disney is going to take over next? I mean, seriously. Let's take a look at this random report, and you'll know exactly what I mean. I Jump roping is so great, but why do I have to do this very late? Stop! Stop! From somewhere outside the Comedy Central Studios, not owned by anybody, it's the Random Report. And now, three people who don't want to be controlled by Walt Disney, Michael, Leroy, and Marina. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to The Random Report, the only show that Fox will probably beat in the ratings because it airs infomercials around this time, so... I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. And I'm Marina. It's official. Disney officially bought 21st Century Fox for $71.3 billion last month, and that means it's now going to control all the Fox-related networks, films, and franchises. So... What is going to happen to The Simpsons? I don't know, but The Simpsons told us that this would happen. Anyway, after the merger, Prentice Fraser left the Fox Networks Group content distribution business. Tongue twisting script. <laughs> and, well, let's think about this. Fox and Disney both have Europe based operations, and Prentice's job was London based. The global TV distribution unit could slowly disappear in terms of employees. Would that mean no more Family Guy? Probably. But that means The Simpsons would have to go bye-bye too. Okay. Maybe not off the air entirely. Just new episodes. Hold it, hold it. What's going on here? Our producer, Mr. Greg Stevenson, everyone. Disney owns Fox now, Mr. Stevenson. That means The Simpsons and Family Guy could stop making new episodes. Hey, don't feel bad. See, those, those shows have been losing steam for years now. Since Disney and Fox have been working together, a lot of people are going to get laid. <laughs> off, okay? People are going to get laid off. So does that mean that some of those people are going to start working here on The Random Report? Either that... Or Nick and Knight's going to be controlled by, by people who used to work for Fox. With that being said, who wants some random poetry? Ooh, we do. Here's Bob Richardson with some more random poetry. Bob? Disney now owns Fox. That story's not the best. Now ABC and Fox will both have Ryan Seacrest. The Simpsons warned us about it, and we gave them a smile. Who has the last laugh now? I'll wait a little while. Don't be sad, though, if The Simpsons and Family Guy leave. They've been stale for many years. Isn't that something to believe? I'm confused about this info, and it'll shock the house. How are we going to break this news story to Mickey Mouse? Mr. Bob Richardson, folks. Thank you very much for that interesting poem. Mickey Mouse would be pleased to hear that his company is about to own 700 more films and at least 5 more networks. Mickey Mouse is a lot of cheese? Lorena Jenkins, folks. Of course, Lorena Jenkins.
Well, he could use some of that cheese to make a lot of triple cheeseburgers, cheese and pickle sandwiches. Wait! Disney now owns KFC and McDonald's too? No, silly, but you have just made me hungry. Okay. Let's wrap it up here. That's it for the random report. I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. I'm Marina. I'm Bob Richardson. I'm Lorena Jenkins. <laughs> This has been The Random Report. Now back to Weeknight Update as Ellie Kungi Mueller and Adam continue to talk about Disney owning Fox. Then stay tuned for Musical Request Taped as all the hosts of that show try to avoid getting fired. That's all coming up on Nick at Night. Please don't let me lose my job, Kung. I don't want to starve to death. Time-tested TV pleasure classics in historic mono for the connoisseur or neophyte, only on Nick at Night. say this, you know, they are right. Disney should not continue to uh, control Fox. I mean, Disney should not control Fox because what's next? I mean, seriously. You know what? Uh, somebody's going to make uh, another random uh, commercial appear uh, on this program. And it's free with education connection. Get connected for free. Free with education connection. Show is practically uh, pandering to uh, to folks who are probably watching. Free with education connection. Get connected for free. Free with education connection. For goodness sake! Wait a minute. Did the ending of that uh, commercial I just pop up again? Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay? It says here that the Walt Disney Company confirmed in December of 2017 that it would acquire 21st Century Fox for originally $52.4 billion. Alright? At the time, 21st uh, Century Fox uh, valued the deal at around $66.1 billion, including $13.7 billion in Fox debt. Which is, of course, 28 bucks a share. So then, guess what happened? The deal went up to 71.3 billion dollars. And it was made official on March 20th. Why? I mean, seriously. Fox, what is your motivation? I mean, come on. I mean, does it really look like you want to be run over by Disney? The same company that has the same channel as some of the bad uh, Disney Channel shows that now uh, have uh, ruined uh, everybody's brains? Okay, 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 okay. No, wait, actually, uh, I take that back. No, they are uh, still encouraging, but let's be honest, the uh, Disney Channel has really gone downhill. Now, apparently they're calling this whole thing a merger, right? Merger. Okay. Now, the thing is, you know, the thing is, you know what? Now this comes during the announcement of Apple TV, a video subscription service that's going to be doing in the fall. Really? Really? You have lost your minds, kids. I'm serious. You know, but to make but make this even worse, all right. You know, Brendan Fraser, who who used to head the United Kingdom-based Fox Networks Group, 
content distribution business, you know, uh, left Fox, you know, because of the Disney and Fox. Apparently she was picked as part of the first wave of layoffs following completion of the Disney Fox merger last month. Her departure is the first of note in Europe as a result of the deal. Really? Really? So now it says here, now listen to this very carefully, kids. This is important. Alright. Buying Fox assets added multiple TV content deal units to the Disney Fold. Well, duh. That's because Disney pretty much owns almost everything that we watch on TV. Almost everything. You know, I don't mind. How do I put this delicately? I'm all for great uh, television uh, programming, but really, Disney owning Fox? What's next, huh? Another education connection uh, commercial? to Michael's iCast, Babylon Creations, and Net509 for creating that excellent random report this evening. And I guess my thanks to uh, Punk Network for, uh, for giving me uh, some weird suggestions for the show, even though, let's be honest, I doubt that too many people will be watching this. You know, my thanks to everybody who's watching. You know, uh, you know, Adam's going to feel better on Monday, and everything's going to be great. You know, uh, you know, Adam wasn't uh, feeling too well. That's why he uh, he bailed after uh, the first couple of minutes. But hey, what can you do? I'll see you folks on Monday night when we're finally going to have some interesting jokes for you. That's the news. And I'm Alex Keys. Well, well, bye, bye, bye.